Hello everybody and today's love letter is on forgiveness. Love letters. <laughs> love letters that I received, beautiful love letters of the spirit of love, the spirit of Jeshua. Um, or just messages from the love that dwells within me and the love that dwells within you and the love that dwells within all of things in existence, the love of divinity. These are love letters of the heart, however they are given or received. So today's love letter is on forgiveness. And for those of you and me and us who experiences where we ourselves like really truly deeply you know when we when we realize that we may have done something that has um, upset or hurt someone that we care so deeply about um, that we can turn our attention inward and realize that you know we've experienced we've created this experience ourselves as well to um, to learn lessons and that um, it's an opportunity for us to reach out with the olive branch and to um, to apologize and to um, you know to ask for forgiveness to own and take responsible responsibility for something that we may have done that has created conflict or um, or discomfort in another and but also remembering that this contract is also it's also, also equal as well like as a contract between two souls we we both bring something in together to learn to grow to wake up and um, so if you wake up and you realize that you are handing out the olive branch of forgiveness um, and wanting to clear and heal whatever restriction uh, contracting energies between you and another loved one in your life then you are doing the very best you can do and sometimes others don't aren't ready to be in that place um, and that can be really challenging you know when when you so deeply, deeply um, love and, and really are taking responsibility and owning your own shit and then, and then wanting to reach out and to acknowledge this together with a, that someone who you perceive as a dearest friend or a dear loved one. There is also, you know, there's also something going on for, for the other person as well. And this can be, you know, this doesn't have to be something that's bad or this is not about blaming or right or wrong. It's about being able to be mature, a mature spiritual being that says, hmm, you know, I realized that I reacted from my own feelings of betrayal or, or you know, or unworthiness or whatever. And, and you know, like, and, and what, like, what did, what were you experiencing? And then your other friend, the heart could say, well, I was really, I was really experiencing a sense of a feeling of betrayal. Like I was feeling so betrayed. Um, and then, you know, we can have this wake up, this, we can wake up to this reality that one more time, here we are again, we've like, we've split off into the dream of the illusion, the dream of separation. And we've, we've gone into this, it's all about me. It's all about them. It's what I can or can't do or what they should or shouldn't do. And, and before you know it, there's been hurt and, 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 and even deeper separation and, and, and coming, moving back, moving back and, and handing that olive, that olive branch out is, is saying like, please, I, I forgive you. I forgive myself. I also forgive myself from calling this into my into my field of awareness, but um, I'm grateful because this has taught me that how easy it is for me to split off into the dream of separation. And the gift I've received here is to be able to go, I can return, I can return and return and just keep on returning. I have the opportunity to return to this and align myself with, with myself as a divine being. So this is the love letter. You can only forgive as deep as you love. This is like, this was like, oh, so loud. This is what I was hearing. You can only forgive as deep as you love. And yet you can only love as deep as you forgive. It's like, wow, that's, that's deep. <laughs> it's deep stuff, right? You can only forgive as deep as you can love. And you can only love as deep as you can forgive. You can only truly forgive 
as you truly love. True forgiveness is the acknowledgement that I, as a soul, have called forth all things to myself in order to realise the truth of my being. That truth being, I am an infinite source of light and love, given birth upon this earth as the extension of God's love for knowing myself, remind, remembering, sorry, of myself, of God's love for knowing itself through me and as me. When this truth is known to yourself, you also know you can no longer be a victim of anyone, any circumstance, in any time upon, upon your life here on earth. Any time now, any time in your past, any time in your future, never ever again. The buck stops here. Never again can you ever be a victim of yesterday, your past. You can never be a victim of your future. The buck stops here. When you know this is who you truly are, then the nature of this love sees the same reality for every human being, especially those who are still unable to forgive you. You see this in myself. I see this in myself. I correct my own perception of my own belief of, of the, the, the dream of separation. And then I realize, you know, this, this, other, this other being, this other person, they're, they're exactly the same. So what this does is so, wow, yeah, I'm really grateful that I've come to this realization. And, of course, I'd love for the other person to come to this realization, but it doesn't mean to say that they always will. And then, of course, there's an opportunity where you have to be able to dive deeper. Oh, when the other, when the other beloved can't forgive you and they don't want to take that branch, and they don't want to move on and shift and move back into alignment with you, and then of course there can be a deeper, deeper diving into you know that I'm still feeling I'm still feeling abandoned, I'm still feeling rejected and unloved. Oh my God, there it is again. You know, there's an opportunity. So I'm being rejected. My forgiveness. I'm handing out the branch, and they're just getting getting the branch and to to tossing it. They're not interested. And so one more time, you're getting thrown back down into the depths of the depths of despair. I'm not loved. I'm, a, you know, they're abandoning me. They're rejecting me. They're betraying. Now I'm feeling, now my, my trust and my love and my friendship is all being betrayed. And we just have to dive again. We just have to dive deeper and deeper and deeper. And you'll be guaranteed that is if, if, if you're diving as deep as you can, deeper beneath all of the stories, all of the layers, all the perceptions, all the strategies of despair. Above that, anger, betrayal, rejection, abandonment. And if you keep on diving deeper and deeper that, you'll fall. You'll fall into the abyss. You'll fall into the beautiful, deep ground of being within your own self. There is nothing. There's no more stories. There's nothing else to chase. There's nowhere to split. There's no dream evolution to separate and run after. You actually get to sit and really allow and really fall deeply into the abyss and meet meet yourself again. When those that come before you who cannot forgive will always ignite the gift of compassion within your heart for you to know the depth of love that it takes for forgiveness to be given. When those that come before you who cannot forgive will also ignite the gift of compassion, what I just mentioned. Compassion, you'll also have like deep compassion for these other people, but it's also can spiral you into even a deeper opportunity to heal your own, your own um, deep subconscious trauma. You know the depth of your love it takes for forgiveness to be given. The depth of love from which forgiveness, the depth of love from which forgiveness arises comes from the equal depth of pain, suffering, grief and despair that a heart once so shattered from this illusion of separation of life and death has been experienced. 
There's no getting out of this, right? <laughs> the depth of love from which forgiveness arises comes from the equal depth of pain, suffering, grief and despair that a heart once so shattered from the illusion of life and death has experienced. So again, if you've got a if you once your heart shattered and you move into the depth of despair, then this is what arises. What arises from here is such a deep, a deep surrender, a deep surrender and, and yearning for even more love and light to enter your being. For some, facing equal amounts of grief and despair still isn't isn't enough for the heart of forgiveness to arise as their grief and despair is still fueled by the mind that judges life as unfair, that someone or something has done something wrong to me, rather than waking up from the body mind to the conscious mind. Let me read that again. For some, facing equal amounts of grief and despair still isn't enough for the heart of forgiveness to arise as their grief and despair is still fueled by the mind that judges life as unfair and it is driven by the confusion. Oh, sorry, I might not have said that. And it's driven by confusion and anger. Unforgiveness is the continuation of judgment that something or someone has done something wrong to me rather than waking up from the body mind to the conscious mind. Unforgiveness and judgment is remaining in the head rather than in the heart. Furthermore, it's easier to blame others for my pain rather than inquire into what is really going on. It's easier to blame other people rather than having to meet your your own pain and and wake up from that and to own your own part. <laughs> we are all responsible for what's happening. If we meet what lies beneath unforgiveness, and we will have to face the feel, then we will have to face the feelings of unworthiness, betrayal, rejection, unlove, that are projections of a separation from source. The mind that judges has an expectation that its source of worth, love and security should have been given to them by you. The mind that judges has an expectation that the source of worth, love and security should have been given to, to them by you. That's why they can't forgive. Rather than knowing the true source of worth, love and security can only come from the relationship with the divine. And when this wisdom is realized, one can no longer remain in judgment of you. Nor can we remain here in judgment of them when no one is a victim. They will wake up to the truth of who they are and why we are all here. Some will have a spontaneous realisation and forgive everyone, everywhere, with not one stone left unturned. Some people have a spontaneous realisation, which is awesome. And when you experience deep compassion for those unable to forgive, once again, turn your attention inward to your heart. Feel the gift of compassion one more time. Crack open your heart even more deeply so that more light and more love can breathe into more of your being. And once again, the deeper you love, the deeper you forgive. And again, you must forgive yourself for calling this experience into your field of awareness. You see, forgiveness is for giving more of love into life. Love letters. The end. See you soon.